Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and with me I have John. John is 56 years old, and I want to thank John for being a demo with me today and uh, showing what's going on. Uh, John says, hey, I hurt my shoulder about five weeks ago. I tripped and slipped and fell up against the house, and you had quite a bit of pain at first, right? Yes. Okay, and uh, a lot. the pain subsided over a little bit of time. Right. And now what would be your biggest complaint? Uh, Nagging discomfort and range of motion. Loss of motion. Loss of motion. Okay. And so he came in and said, listen, this is bugging me. I'm having a hard time with this. Take a look. And so here we, um, you know, first of all, I asked him if he was in some sort of a position where he could have dislocated his shoulder, and he did not. He essentially fell up against the building and struck the arm pretty hard here um, and then kind of slid down. So there wasn't a, an external rotation abduction type of mechanism. Uh, he doesn't have any neck pain. He has no paresthesia going down into the arm. I checked his reflexes. He has great reflexes on both sides. No obvious signs of radiculopathy. Um, the other concern I had is, well, could he have a frozen shoulder from having had this injury or could he have just lost of motion because of inflammation? He really has no palpable tenderness at all in the shoulder, okay? Um, and I went through all of that, no signs of a bicep tear. Uh, and so I, I'm not seeing a lot of localized inflammation at this time. But what we're going to do is go through some active range of motion, passive range of motion, some manual muscle testing, kind of talk you through what I think is going on. So, John, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you lift your arms up as high as you can, straight overhead. If that one goes, yep, let it go. And back down. Now, if you could go out to the side as high as you can go, that'd be great. Notice the significant hiking over here. All right, and this one will go even higher than that, right? Yes. Okay, good, and back down. Do you have a lot of pain with that, or is it just more lack of motion? No, there's some pain with that. There is? Okay. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, can you reach behind your head? Notice he takes the hand up this way and he cannot abduct and externally rotate very well and back down. And how about if you turn around, can you reach behind? And while I have him back here, I'm just going to do a little lift off test. Um, so can you take that hand off of your back? Good. Hold it right there. Don't let me push it in. No problems there. He offers some nice resistance. So we're going to take him right back around. Now the first thing I want to do is rule out adhesive capsulitis. So can you lift that arm again like this for me? If he had a frozen shoulder, I really should not be able to passively bring him up much further than this, okay? But I can. All right, and we can get him right up there. Not a tremendous amount of pain. No. Okay, we're going to bring him down. I'm going to take him up and out to the side. So. Decent abduction, so no obvious signs of a frozen shoulder. I'm going to roll him out this way. Okay, and he has really good internal rotation as he just demonstrated. So the next thing I want to do is I want to test his strength. Um, so we're going to have you take that arm and bring it right up here, straight ahead. Okay, not turning just a little bit like that. There we go. Good. Okay, now hold right there. Don't let me push down. Hold tight. And he... Are you holding? <laughs> okay, sorry. Now hold there. Hold. I'm really collapsing him really easily, okay? We're gonna take him out to the side. I'd like you to hold that arm up here. Loss of abduction strength also. And really impressively here, we're gonna turn just a little bit more like this. Let's hold that arm right here for external rotation. Don't let me push it in, all right? And I can easily collapse and he has nothing there. Now I tested the other side and he's good and strong in all positions. I also wanna do an empty can test with him. So we're gonna turn the thumb down. We're gonna bring the arm right out here. Hold tight, don't let me push it down and really has nothing to offer as far as strength. Now we're gonna do a little belly press test just to check his supraspinatus again, uh, or subscapularis, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead and hold tight, don't let me pull it away. Offers me great resistance up against the chest. Hold here, don't let me pull it away. So bear hug and belly press look good. Uh, I checked his biceps a while ago. He has good supination strength, good bicep strength, no issues there. Um, no signs of apprehension or dislocation to the shoulder. Now I'm going to let you rest that arm. He has some discomfort with the external rotation and with flexion and abduction, so I'm suspicious that he tore his rotator cuff, most likely the supraspinatus, probably also the infraspinatus. Subscapularis looks good. And the teres minor doesn't tear very often, but let's see if we can hold that arm in this position right here. We'll do a little horn blowers test. Hold it right there. Don't let me push the arm down. And he can't hold that at all. So there's a possibility he has some involvement of that teres minor also. 
the other thing I look at is, you know, does he have um, shingles? And we've seen that before where it involves the uh, suprascapular nerve and sometimes C5 and C6, and that can affect, affect the uh, shoulder also, but we're not seeing any of that uh, right now. So it's been five weeks. If this was just inflammation causing him all this weakness, we would probably, um, you know, see some improvement with active range of motion, but it's not really improving. So we're recommending an orthopedic consult, uh, an MRI, and um, identify this probable rotator cuff tear, and then uh, go from there. So um, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave those in the comment section of the video. John, thank you very much for helping us out today and, and showing everybody um, this evaluation. And uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.